Causing war and backing the boycott of Israel. Please welcome Tom Hickey. Greetings from the University and Colleges Union, from its National Executive, from its General Secretary Sally Hunt, and from all of its members. I want to start by simply quoting you a few figures. £2,600 is what somebody gets on a job seeker's allowance in this country. £2,750 a week is what the Prime Minister of this country takes. And on top of that, on top of that, we pay £1,000 a week to his stylist to do his hair. And it is this country that decides that while it spends its billions on war, it is going to raise the fees for students to £9,000 a year, making education not a right, but a privilege for the rich. That's the kind of country that we are now in, and that's the kind of country that we, in the UCU, in all the trade unions in this country, all those who are opposed to the war, have to say is not going to be a country that stays like that. This is a country in this city in which it is planned to put one out of six fire engines into mothballs to save money at the risk of those people who might die in fires at the same time, at the same time as they attack the firefighters for taking strike action. Now the reasons why we are opposed to the war in Afghanistan is not out of self-interest because we want the money spent at home. The reason we are opposed to this war is because of its brutality, because of its illegitimacy, because of its illegality. That's why we're opposed to the occupation. But the issue of whether the money will be spent on education at home, on welfare at home, or on wars abroad is an important weapon to mobilize people to mobilize those who are against the war in defense of welfare and in defense of education and equally to mobilize those who are in favor of defending welfare and education against war. We need a united movement that brings all of those strands together to say to this government, enough, we won't take it. Yeah. 